Iran, here we have the Sean Parker Band. Uh, I'm sitting here in Peyote with uh, Iran and with Sean Parker and with Burak. How are you guys doing? We're awesome! How are you? Yay. Awesome! Right. Sean, you've been, uh, you've been relatively quiet these days. Uh, what's going on? Summer holidays or what? No, I've been drinking all night with you. <laughs> <laughs> Great. What have you been doing this summer? Uh, preparing the new album, which is now ready. It's in my bag. Get my... Where's the album? It's in my bag. We'll, we'll, we'll get to the album later. Uh, are you deliberately taking time off this summer? You've not been as active. No. In the past, I was the manager. We organised lots of shows. Now we have a new manager, and he organises no shows. So that's why we're taking time off. How would you summarise uh, 2011 for Sean Parker Band? Two months ago, we had our best show in Taksim Square, and it was a wonderful show, all of us enjoying ourselves. But it's nothing compared to the riots in England, where those kids are actually destroying shops and taking what they want <coughs> from places that they want to take it from. And they should. And well done them. I'm with the kids. Well done them. You wanker. Fuck, Rupert Murdoch. <laughs> Do you see yourselves as uh, being very, very proactive at the moment? Uh, uh, is there a sense that you should have done this maybe four years ago when you first started? Is there anything that you would change? It takes a long time because the music industry is changing and no one sells CDs anymore. No industries have any interest in music anymore. So when you really mean it, you push as hard as you can. And when you really mean it properly, like these guys, mm -hmm. then you can make something happen. Do you, think like other people too. Do, you, do you think it's important for bands to go through that kind of learning process uh, rather than just hitting the, uh, the successful stage straight away? I think they can be successful, but there's probably not much balls to it, and that's, that's the issue. You have to work at it to get somewhere, okay. uh, otherwise it's just um, pissing in the wind. I want to explore something, uh, the, the, the band name, Sean Parker Band, uh, fuck you too. Uh, <laughs> I know you've had several lineups in the band, uh, I know you've been uh, going for four years. Uh, has it been a conscious decision to keep the name Sean Parker Band? Uh, has there been ever any discussion about changing the name because of the new lineup? Or has it always been, um, uh, is it a self-conscious thing that you want to be called Sean Parker Band? As you know well, and as lots of my friends know well, I'm not happy with the name. I, it's what the original idea was because I wrote all the songs and I did all the organizations. I tried to change the name. I'm not going to tell you the name now, but we, I tr tried to six months ago and he said, Aaron said, no, we're not going to change that name because it's Sean Parker Band Identity. And that's where we are. It's just now a brand. And I'm stuck with it. I don't want it. And we're stuck with it. That's it. Uh, you joined the Sean Parker band after the first album. Uh, how did you guys meet? Actually, Sean posted uh, something on Facebook. It yeah, says that uh, any bass players in Istanbul just give me a contact. So I did. And uh, due his knowledge about my musical uh, background, he didn't hesitate for any kind of question. He said, okay, just come to the studio and just take your chance. I thought he had good pecs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's more about his looks than his ability. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you've heard us, you know that. And I did. Then we realized that our understandings of the city culture and music combined together and they match. Then, as I mentioned, we stuck together in, under the name of SPB mm -hmm. and try to do uh, things better than we uh, ever done in the past. Over the last two years you, you've always been a three-piece band. Uh, was there a conscious decision to make it a four-piece band? You, you've included Burak this year. Uh, uh, was that a conscious decision? Did you feel you needed him? Uh, how has he affected the dynamic of the group? Actually, uh, you know, as you mentioned, we were three members mm -hmm. since the beginning, me, uh, Sean and Hyrule. Then we decided that we need to kind of spice up the things in the band, in musically and maybe socially. Then uh, we have played with Pyjamas, Jan Karakuzulu, their lead guitar. It didn't work for some kind of reasons. Then, He's a wanker, that's why. Like you are. Then, wanker? <laughs> <laughs> Egotistical wanker. Doesn't add anything to our sound. He adds. 
Jan took away. What was it like joining the band? Uh, Eren, ne, uzun yıllardı çalıyordu işte. Um, sonra Eren Şen Parker'da çalmaya başladı. Son üç yılda. E, ondan sonra da işte biz Eren'e ben bir gün dedim hani ya ben birlikte çalalım tekrar dedim. Ne oluyor? Tabii neden olmasın? Onun üzerine Eren'le birlikte tekrar Şen Parker'da çalmaya başladık. How do you see the music scene at the moment uh, in, in Istanbul and, and uh, also in the in the whole of Turkey? Istanbul and the whole of Turkey. How do you see that? Istanbul music and all of Turkey. How, how do you see it? What do you feel about what's going on right now? Actually, most of the musicians kind of, you know, there's two point of views. Which makes, you know, two branches seems like for money and for art. Or maybe under branch for like, what the fuck you want to do or like to do. We're in the second branch. But the others, you know, like having popular music and doing some kind of popular covers yeah it's my bad hair day sorry <laughs> <laughs> and being independent and just doing for art which uh, diverse us from among the others in your opinion uh, who who stands out for you uh, in Istanbul right now apart from yourselves of course as a band as an artist as a musician direct 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 in my opinion, direct. Uh, why? why? Uh, Bilge Kozabalaban, sorry for my pronunciation, is a brilliant, brilliant fucking singer and a really, really great guy. He's on our album too, we, he's guesting on our album. And his attitude is ours, he, he's the same. Uh, the ideas for your song, uh, where do they come from? Who, who influences you? Who inspires you? What inspires you? Are, are, are they only your ideas or are the rest of the band uh, allowed to have some kind of artistic influence in the Sean Parker band? Of course they are and Eren, as my partner for like three years, uh -huh. just puts all input in all the time and we discuss shit, say what should be done, what shouldn't happen and what, what should go on with the songs and then we kick shit out and kick things in and we're at Joint very recently. Pyro's around somewhere, and that's what we do. And we just kick the shit out of the stuff together. That's exactly what I want. That's, that's, all, that's all we do. Was there a, a, a time transition where uh, Burak was new and you had to get to know him, or was it like a very natural uh, connection? Actually, me and Burak have been playing for like eight or ten years together. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Maybe a different genre of music, but on the stage, for example, when we look at each other's eyes, we understand for the next step or the next chord like he says I'm gonna play this spontaneously so do it just from an uh, eye catch mm -hmm. so that's the point that I wanted him in SPB because he's the only guitarist who can you know going to complete all the uh, missing harmony in the band except the studio stuff you know I mean on the stage you know, he can he can even replace a keyboard player or the uh, most uh, sorry greatest guitar player on the stage. So that's him. Oh, hey. That's him. And we love you, And he's my brother too. <laughs> I have to agree with you. I, I have to agree with you. As you I mentioned, think, uh, I think since Bora came, uh, watching you guys on stage, it's, it's had a, it's added a new dimension. Uh, there's lots more going on, in, in my opinion. 